Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi, everybody. What is going on? It is Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memoria Freeze video. And welcome to the complete assist tier list, the promised complete assist tier list. Of course, in the other tier list video, the other big tier list video, where we tier listed every single adventure, which you guys can go and check out. I'll try and keep something in the top right so you guys can go and click on it. If you haven't watched it, you can go and check it out. Or at the end of this video, there will be a playlist for you guys to click on, which you guys can go and check out that video in that playlist. But in that video, I said that over the weekend, I will get around to doing the complete assist tier list video. And here it is. Here it is for you guys. It's still the end of the weekend. I know it's a little bit late. It's like the evening of a Sunday, basically, that I'm uploading this video. But it's still out, all right? It's still out. I kind of got caught up with the 24 hours of Lamar. But uh, I've gotten around to it, all right? I've gotten around to it. We've got 300 assists nearly to go through. And this tier list, this specific tier list, compared to the adventure tier list, actually also includes four star free to play assists as well and i'll get on to why i've included those free to play four star assists as well in just a moment but before we get into the video and get into all the details i hope you guys go on to enjoy this video and of course if you guys do so remember to leave a like down below of course a lot of effort goes into making these type of videos because it just takes like three four hours just getting everything together and all these images and everything sorted out so of course it would be truly appreciated if you could just you know hit that thumbs up button it's not much but uh, you know you could just need to scroll down and click on a small thumbs up button it's not that hard it would be truly appreciated and of course if you want to see more content and of course see this tier list evolve over the next couple of months with the anniversary units and everything of course hit that subscribe button we will be using these tier lists moving forward of course whenever we get new adventures and assists, these two tier lists will consistently get updated of course and of course let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the tier list do you guys agree disagree what would you change here or there of course i'm always open to stuff like that and in fact a lot of people have been asking me if i'll ever you know do it on live stream where i have the tier lists open and we can you know listen to people's comments and maybe make changes live potentially and i might do that at some point maybe when we do get the anniversary units potentially right maybe the weekend off that the first part so maybe next weekend we will do something like that where i do a live stream and we have this tier list open and the adventure tier list open and we can maneuver things around basically so we'll do something like that maybe in the near future but yes, this assist tier list is a little bit different compared to the adventure tier list because, of course, like I said, we are including a lot of four-star free-to-play assists compared to the adventure tier list, which actually had no free-to-play four-star adventure, actually, funnily enough. And the reason for that is because when it comes to assists, right, and you'll notice this pattern when we talk about each tier, is that a lot of the assists in this game take a long time to achieve power creep and the thing is the differences between a new assist versus an old assist let's say for example let's take an assist that can give minus 20 percent physical res right there is only a couple of assists that actually also do minus 25 percent p res and then there's a couple of assists that were even older than that minus 20 percent assist that do minus 15 percent so in reality there's not much of a change between the assists of course it's a five percent increase in the buff basically or debuff you could say but the differences isn't that drastic so it takes longer for a unit to get power crept it's only when there's like a double jump like say you're going from minus 15 percent p res to minus 25 percent p res right that's when you see a slightly larger jump basically so uh, keep that in mind when we're going through these tier lists that a lot of these units and assists specifically i think from c onwards are actually still somewhat usable i wouldn't say they're downright all of them are usable but unlike the adventure tier list video where i said that units in c were pretty much unrunnable you would only want to use units from b and up basically i did say in that video you could maybe use a c unit by a stretch of your imagination but i i did say cl clearly in that video that i felt like b and above was the big uh units that you would use 
here when it comes to the assist i would say that you know i really wouldn't blame you if you used a couple of the c rank units to be quite honest i use some of the c rank units here and there as well and i'll mention some of them that i still use to this day and age but yeah that's something that i wanted to point out is uh, c and above is where i would say is definitely usable and that means we'll start with the d rank and uh, the d rank selection is on your screens right now as you can see right here consisting of from the ana in the top left all the way to the seer in the bottom right um these assists are just outdated simply put they are outdated they don't do much um a lot of these assists funnily enough i was actually you know how i do these tier lists and how i build these tier lists is i had the album up on my phone and i was just using my computer and scroll dragging it up slowly but surely while also reading through the assist skill right and the funny thing is a lot of these assists, what the problem is with these D-rank assists is that they only have either one buff slash debuff or alternatively they have like a ailment res and then it's like minus 5 or 10% endurance which is just like useless, absolutely useless. Um, and unfortunately because of that they haven't aged ex uh, ex exceptionally to be quite honest. In fact, I would say they haven't aged well at all to be quite honest they've not aged good at all and they have been outdated outclassed outmatched they're not that great whatsoever unfortunately so if you get one of these units well i would just say tough luck um better luck next time in your pull hopefully but yeah i mean it's happened to me many a times i keep getting this oni loki i keep getting this hephaestus as well i know that i know i get these freyas consistently as well these two freyas i know i've gotten quite a bit off um but yeah these uh this these selection of assists in the d tier are simply just unrunnable and unusable um in my personal opinion you could potentially find a use for maybe some of them for example this hestia if i'm not mistaken and this uh, mikoto for example they have an ability to basically reduce the opponent's uh, magic and str specifically but the thing is it's only a singular debuff and nowadays a lot of assists uh, have both there there's both a minus str and minus magic uh debuff on the same assist so that's why i've also put them in deep because they're just so outdated and they only have a singular debuff which isn't great in this day and age to be quite honest unfortunately so there, there's the d rank there is the d rank let's move over to the c rank now and the c rank actually is a lot less filled compared to the uh, adventure tier list i feel like each tier in this version of the tier list or the this assist tier list is a lot more balanced everybody like there's like a solid equality e equality between like each uh tier basically in terms of the number of assists that are there um this tier specifically the c tier like i said you can run some of these units like i still run H hestia here and there maybe um especially if i'm running in maybe say for example telskira Beast, giving the agility boost along with increased damage from aoe attacks pretty good for pvp of course right i remember she was a menace to society uh back in the day nowadays not so much this freya can still be nice if you're looking for some survivability damage reduction of course if you don't have anybody else to give that damage reduction she's always there um so you have a lot of these assi assists that still have something to them they double buff double debuff is the thing one of the things that i realized with these units right is that they have a lot of extra buffs and debuffs on their assist skill it's not just like minus 10% P res or minus 15% P res. It's like minus 15% P res and something else as well, which helps these units out a little bit more. That being said, though, I will still also add that these units at this point are also lacking because their numbers are just really, really low. Their numbers are really, really low. And uh, as a result, if you manage to get a better iteration of them, they will become obsolete for your account basically so bear that in mind when you're going for the c rank units it's just a case of where basically these units are pretty much outdated because of their numbers more so than anything else i think their uh, debuffs and buffs are good it's just that their numbers are low i would say at this point now we move on to the b rank and b rank is where things get very interesting because i feel like you could still get away with using some of these units to be quite honest i know so many people who do use some of these units and maybe i'm being a little bit harsh with some of these units i will admit uh, i think i've i've been a little bit harsh when it comes to certain units in here um for example a unit that i still use for example maybe i've been a bit harsh there but i feel like just again once uh, once again like i said the numbers just are 
lower compared to the units nowadays and i think that's something that we have to acknowledge but i will say that b rank units are very much usable in this day and age if you use them in the right position um for example bet even though he's an april fools unit if you use him in the right position which is the element team he'll pop off you use Erebus in the right position he will also be a very good option and a lot of free-to-play units that have released recently the assist uh, assist wise are also pretty decent you have Alfred who's basically exactly the same as this dude right here this Apollo over here um lid is also a great option um so you have a lot of these assists that are viable and are usable it's just that there are better iterations of them that you would definitely choose instead because they have slightly better numbers just slightly better numbers basically um but still a very selectable uh, set of units i would say for sure for sure um but yeah i mean i think yeah if i had to point out certain units that i used uh up until now recently um one of them is demeter i don't have a minus 25 percent emres unit which we'll talk about in a moment um i know a lot of people use dionysus because of the poison and actually that's also something i, I should probably add in this uh topic as well is where would i place ailment units because i've always said that ailment units are very tricky to place because you need to get all of them together and make it a cohesive selection if you have all of them together you could argue that the ailment team and the ailment assists are probably s tier so what i tried going for is basically i went for the lower percentages of inflicting the ailment i've put in b rank but the higher percentages i've put in a rank and the reason why i've also split them up and not put them in like s all together at the same time because if you put them together they could work really well the reason why I didn't do that is because I felt like you need to have all of them to get to that S tier position. If you have them individually, you would want them in A or B. And then on top of that, they aren't really that useful in game modes like Record Buster and other PvE contents like Familiar Rush and Familiar Royale. So that's why I went for a lower rank for them, to be quite honest. That's why I went for a lower rank when it came to the uh, ailment units as well but let's move over to the a rank and let's talk about the a rank units and this is where um i think you get to the cream of the crop this is where i would say these are all usable units even to this day to be quite honest i would definitely use them if i had the opportunity to absolutely in my teams of course right you still have units like slycat chloe Ana. you can make an argument for them to go into s tier as well we'll come on to s tier in a moment but i feel like these are just cream of the crop units like outside of their numbers being slightly lower than the s rank units they're still capable of providing so much to the team uh in some way shape or form some people will be questioning why i've put units like her in this position even though with the counter team she's phenomenal but it's mainly down to just slight number changes like i genuinely would say that there's not much of a difference between s and a to be quite honest honestly the a rank is sort of like that bridge between the b and s b is usable s is just god tier and then a is like that perfect sweet spot in between the two where it's nearly god tier but obviously just because of numbers or because of how dated they are or something like that the numbers and everything it just goes lower basically because units like for example aries you might be like why is he there he provides minus 20 percent p res as well as a bunch of other debuff slash buffs as well which helps the team out tremendously especially in pve contents right uh, he's basically an older version of apollo right the uh, apollo from the fourth anniversary so that's the reason why i've placed all these units in a I, again i may do this on live once again in the upcoming weekend because i feel like this is where i feel like people will point out like maybe i'm being a little bit maybe biased towards some of these units maybe i'm uh maybe i should have some of these in b tier some of these in s tier but that's the reason why i wanted to make this a tier basically consisting of these units because i feel like you could put them in either or position basically and i feel like i've done the right decision here in making them in putting them in this position basically so um these are my a units and then of course if we go over to my s rank units i mean these are the gods basically if you get any of these units you are living fantastic and the funny thing is a lot of these units are actually non-time limited seer non-time limited seer non-time limited ana is time limited hephaestus time limited non-time limited time limited non-time limited non-time limited uh you are time limited non-time limited i keep forgetting which one's time no you are non-time limited you are time limited time limited unfortunately time limited time limited non uh, time limited again 
non-time limited, time limited, non-time limited, so on and so forth. You guys know which one's non-time limited and time limited if you guys go and check the album. But basically, there's a good blend of the two. And the main crux of why I put so many of these units here is because they're the best in what they are doing and what they're providing to the team. For example, 25% fire attack damage and minus 25% P res. Phenomenal. Apollo, minus 25% P res, the best of what he can provide. Um, you know, for uh, for example, 25% STR with Adult Felice, nobody else does that. Ray, 25% magic, nobody else does that. 25% AoE attacks, nobody does that. Hermes, he only provides 20% to damage increase, but he does it to both AoE and single target attacks, which is really solid. So the S tier ranks, right? These are units that are doing the best that their position offers, basically. And what buffs they provide or debuffs they provide, that is who they that they're the best in it they're the best in providing that specific buff and number the number that they provide so for me personally this is my tier list i think i'm not mad about anything in particular i know some people will like i said i think a tier might be a little bit controversial maybe b tier as well but i feel like overall i think i've done the right job with all of these assists in my personal opinion and i feel happy because it's all very even it's not nothing's too dominated by uh you know a bunch of units like how the adventure tier list was where everybody was in c tier to the point where i did get some suggestions to make an additional tier uh, after the video went out of course which i definitely thought about like i said in the video itself i think i said it that i felt like i should have had multiple tiers in there but uh, i feel like for this one i feel like i nailed on to a lot of the things that these guys can do and a lot of the positives that these guys can have um but yeah like i said obviously this is going to change in a couple of days time i wouldn't be surprised if we see some of the assists from the s tier go down to a tier because of the numbers changing because i do expect to see potentially a new P res down assist or an M res down assist that gives minus 30% um, P res slash M res maybe to, to, you, to the enemy, right? So we'll have to wait and see. Of course, I think we'll find out in two, three days time as to exactly what's going to happen. But let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me? Disagree with me? I'm always open to suggestions, like I said, and I will be doing a live stream going over all of this once again on probably the next uh, uh weekend probably probably the next weekend maybe um saturday or sunday we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but thank you guys so much for watching this video please be sure to leave a like down below subscribe to the channel for more danmachi content and i will see you guys next time take it easy everybody Bye bye